Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is April 9th. We do have a USDA report uh, out at 11 o'clock. Uh, just a supply and demand report. Going to get another look at ending stocks today. Uh, we do have corn, beans, and wheat starting off lower this morning. So uh, that could certainly change with the numbers that we could see here out at uh, out at 11. Some of the expectations for the report. Looking to see ending stocks for corn increase. Last month, we were sitting at $1.77 billion. Guys are expecting to see a 1.85 is the average trade guess for this report. So looking for, uh, looking for an increase. Now on beans, we've got last month $385 million. The expectation is to see a decline for beans. 370 million is the average trade guess. So looking for a 15 million bushel decline uh, as far as beans today. We, on the other hand, think that if we are going to see a surprise, maybe it will be out of beans. Um, instead of seeing a decline, we feel that maybe we're going to see some kind of an increase uh, or see that number closer to 390. So uh, keep an eye on that. The trade is looking for a 15 million bushel decline, though. And uh, we'll see what these numbers look like as well. Now, as far as wheat, looking for roughly the same, not a lot of change out of wheat ending stocks. So not expecting big movement uh, out of wheat. Export sales that were released this morning. Corn for old crop, expecting 350 to 450, got 626. So a little bit better there uh, for corn exports. Beans, on the other hand, looking for a net cancellation of 50 to a sale of 150,000, we got a net cancellation of 1. or 176,000. Uh, so a net cancellation there going to be looked at as negative as far as old crop, and we'll see if we get any adjustments today from the USDA on this report. So um, we are expecting exports to remain very, very light. Uh, and see more of these old crop sales just being passed on and looking toward more South America as far as beans. And so we'll see what kind of adjustments we get. But more importantly, guys, we'll focus on this report out at 11 o'clock. Looks like we're getting a lot of rain across the Midwest. Um, it looks like areas that were supposed to get rain had gotten rain. Some of these totals a little bit more than what were expected as well. So... We'll see if that if we continue to get these rains over the next few days. And as far as the weather models suggest, it looks like we might. Looking at livestock, cattle up 45 right now. Box beef, though, coming in a little bit higher in choice, 216. Select down 18 cents. Uh, no cash trade as of yet. Keep an eye on that. We're hearing bids getting a little squirrely uh, back and forth. But as of right now, no cash trades. Uh, hogs are up 50 cents, continuing to climb. Now, the futures, we've seen this kind of an uptrend that's being formed right now, pushing us higher. Um, but we've got April up about 50 cents to start the morning. Cutout values were up 32 cents, so it seems like we could continue that path here today as well. Crude oil, 60 cents higher after a $3 decline yesterday. The dollar is up 48 cents. Could end up putting pressure on commodities in general. Stock market, though, down 23. Gold and silver giving back some of their gains. $5 lower for gold. Silver down 20 cents, at least to start the morning. Give us a call if you have questions. You can reach us here, 800-262-7538, or online at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.